Welcome back. I'm here in the Price Chopper Kitchen to talk about one of the most controversial vegetables on planet Earth, asparagus. Chef Jasper Mirabile is here. Jasper, I love asparagus. Why is it so polarizing? I don't know because I love asparagus too, but I think maybe we're going to date back to our grandparents and mamas and maybe using the asparagus in the can. And no people good. look at it. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a need for canned goods. Yeah. But when you have asparagus that snaps like snaps that, so like fresh. This. this is from Pendleton's in Lawrence, Kansas. My family, we go up there and we pick it. Karen Pendleton and John Pendleton, they have fields of asparagus. You can go there until May 30th and still pick asparagus. You are so um, detail oriented with your cooking and, and you even have a special menu that's asparagus specific. That's right. Every year we do a fresh local asparagus menu. So I have asparagus with chicken. This year I'm doing different asparagus. Of course I have to do asparagus with pasta, but we're actually frying asparagus. I know frying asparagus may be against everything because you know, maybe but if you do it, it's probably really well, good. But we're dipping it in Italian breadcrumbs and Romano cheese. Uh -huh. And then we do a, a mayonnaise, like an aio, with a little bit of garlic and lemon juice. Oh, my God. Can I see one of those stocks okay, sure, again? Okay, sure, sure, sure. Can I? So here's a question for you. You were telling me some people peel their asparagus. Uh -huh, exactly, I exactly. thought you were just supposed to I bend snap. it until it snaps. You go to the finest restaurants in the country, some of the finest chefs, what they teach us in culinary school. We're supposed to peel it down right along here. Peel I don't have my, par my paring knife, but... I, at my restaurant, everything is natural. Mm -hmm. Everything is fresh. And I mean, we just do it the old fashioned so way. What are you, like so wherever it snaps, that the part yeah. above the snap is the edible part. But I don't throw the rest away. No, 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 it's still edible. So this right here, we're gonna make a velvety asparagus soup with this. So you use the stock part oh, below yeah. the... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Part. Okay, let's do yeah. it. Okay, so to make just, let's do, let's just talk about risotto very quickly. I love fresh risotto. Now, it's so simple and people are so afraid of risotto. You can cheat. Okay. And my friend Judy Francini in, uh, in Florence, she gives a good cheat about boiling risotto rice, just like we do at, here in America with our regular Uncle Ben's rice. Is that Converted cheating? rice. So is it cheating? A real purist with risotto will say yes, because when you want to cook the risotto down, you continually add the brodo, the broth, mm -hmm. and you just slowly add this and it continues to cook down. But if you have like 20 minutes to get dinner ready for your exactly. kids. Exactly. So put the risotto in the boiling water. And just cook it. Saute a little asparagus on the side. I brought today some leeks. I have some beautiful green onions, but look at this. You ever seen these before? Those smell so good. Garlic chives from my wife's garden. Oh, man. Look at it, it's starting to sprout. They smell really good. Yeah, and you talk about, I mean, you, you bite this or something and you yeah. taste garlic, but it's so fresh. And when you saute it, oh my God, what an aroma. That's what everybody smells right now in the studio. So, so how quick is this? risotto and asparagus? I just sauteed it and then I finished. Now this is my trick with risotto. I just sauteed everything. When it's ready, I kept, I kept adding a little bit of brodo. It took about 15 minutes, that's all. But my finish, and I know some people say, oh, I don't want to hear it. You have to finish it with butter, and you have to finish with a little bit of grated cheese, whether it's Parmigiano-Reggiano or grated Romano. Just a touch right on top. Butter and cheese, though. Oh, my Those gosh. And you just let that melt down in there. And what a flavor, just a little bit of salt, a just a pinch of cracked pepper. Now, be creative, tomatoes, mm -hmm. mushrooms. There's another controversial one, mushrooms. Yeah, my, which is weird because I love mushrooms too. I'm the too, same way, I'm you know, the same way. Sometimes people say they don't like mushrooms. Exactly, like, so this is finished. Now, can you hold that it? It's tough to really hold. Can you bring it back to life? Yes, just add a little bit of more, a little more Brodo, and you're okay. What's the Vitamix Okay, for? so I brought the Vitamix today because I want to show you how you can make the soup in the Vitamix. And this is a velvety, creamy asparagus soup. We start off with some asparagus. Now, we have some cooked already, and all I'm going to do is put this right in here. And you're using the bottom part I'm of using the stock the bottom, that exactly. most of us throw away. I have some green onions. Now, let's talk about leeks because some people are afraid to use leeks also. And I wash these out yeah. and I, I scrub, I mean, really, really quick. I put all the leeks. I don't throw anything away, though. So you use the top of the leek as I well? I use everything. Okay. I use everything. I love so that. So you can put the whole leek in here, seriously, just like really? this right here. Believe it or not, I'm telling you. Now, it's going to take a little longer in the blender and we're probably not going to finish it right on TV today. We need to add a little bit of salt and pepper. I also have some shallots. So I'll put the shallots in there. I like a little bit of tarragon in mine. That's up to you. We put just a little bit of white wine in here. Just a little, yes, white wine in the soup. I now, bet that makes it taste good because I oh, put it in my paella. Exactly, exactly. Now turn this up a little higher. 
And then while you're going with this, I'm not going to make all that noise. While it's going, we finish it with, with half a and little half? bit of half and half or heavy cream, either one. Okay. And this kind of gets this kind of gets everything rolling right here. And you think you're going to have a problem with it, but you're not going to. And just slowly put that in there. I know you're standing back because I know it's going to pop a little bit. So <laughs> I just want to show you how quick and easy yeah. you can do this. And once this gets going, look at this. It also heats the soup up. So you can do a chilled soup or you can do a hot soup. It doesn't matter. Put that in the refrigerator for chilled soup. And then imagine putting this in a bowl and then actually putting different toppings on this. I like to put a little whipped cream on mine and Ooh, make it like wait, in cappuccino wait, wait, wait. style. Whipped cream? Yeah, I put whipped cream in it. Does it make it taste sweet? I don't know. No, yeah, I put it right on top so I have sweet Yum. and savory. Is there a way to put asparagus in a dish or a dish you would recommend where the asparagus flavor doesn't take over the dish? Because it is a strong flavor. Okay, exactly. So what I would do, you're having the chicken broth, okay? So I, now if you want to keep it vegetarian, then you know you have to keep away from the chicken broth. So use a vegetable broth but the more broth that you add to this it's going to take away all that asparagus flavor so you got to be real careful you don't want to lose asparagus flavor also by sauteing the asparagus a little bit mm -hmm. in the in a little bit of butter you're going to lose a little bit of that asparagus flavor but you'll get a different flavor kind of a mild kind of a, a, a flavor that everything blends together chef jasper Mirabile, oh, thank you for thank showing you. us how to do asparagus right